shred. So welcome to the lead-in group. Uh, my name is Brian, and we have Palomino Blonde. Everybody, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Carly. I play guitar and I sing. Hi, I'm Emma. I play drums and sing sometimes. <laughs> I'm Peter. I play bass and do backup vocals. Hi, I'm Kyle. I play guitar and I also sing. See, that's how you go into a <laughs> right, you I'm Jared. Up. I only play guitar. He said backup <laughs> vocals need to be lower in the mix. Do you hear that? So, tell, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I know, I mean, obviously you're a five-piece band, um, three freaking guitars, you guys uh, shredding during sound check, except for, except for that bass player. But I did not yeah. hear any bass during sound yeah. check. It's no. hard to hear him as a theme. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Peter's pretty loud. Uh, uh, but but you did you did eventually show up and uh, uh, you, you got plugged in and you're you're ready to go. Much to everyone's chagrin, yeah. I finally made it. You well, just, we, you know, made we, that we, I think we need a rhythm section, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, Emma can't do, can't do it all alone, right? That's correct. No, she can't. Uh, so um, so yeah. let, let's talk about now. You guys are all out of the you know Miami Kendall like Davie area or yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Right. That's where we're based. Yeah. Awesome. So t tell me a little bit about so some of the influences. I think I've got, there's so many different like little samples of bands that, that I hear, but I don't know if they're actually influences or not. So let, let's hear like so, some of like your guys' top fives and see, see where we go from here. Okay. Definitely curious about uh, what do you hear, but um, I'll go first. Uh, I think like... Slow Dive, Smashing Pumpkins, those are like my top two. Um, I'm really into this band called Wednesday lately, and also this band Mama is so awesome. Yeah, as far as like, um, as far as how we think about the band goes, I think the bass is Smashing Pumpkins, for sure. And um, My Bloody Valentine, Silver Sun Pickups, that's like, how how I think about the band and what I want how what I want to do in the band it's all based around like heavy loud shoegazy type stuff like yeah. that. Failure too, love them. Yeah, definitely love failure. Um, and in addition to the bands everyone else mentioned, um, we also really like just a wide range of stuff that has nothing to do with what we sound like, but uh, frequently informs like just creative decisions that we make. Like uh, I listen to a ton of soul music. Awesome. Al Green, Rosetta Tharp, and also like we all really like trip hop, like Portishead and Massive okay. Attack, um, and even just like straight up like really sugary pop, like yeah, just early two thousands top forty, like really goes crazy for everyone but me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so two two bands that well actually three bands, um, but you had already hit on one of them, but. Sunny Day Real Estate was was okay. one band that yeah, and <coughs> another one it would be like Baruch Assault. Just oh yeah, I yeah. mean, the yeah. yeah, we definitely bonded yeah. over yeah. them. Like me and Kyle, when we first made the band, like he showed me American Thighs, the album, and I was just like, like there was me before that and me after. <laughs> yeah. That band rips. There's this one song we have called Phoebe that was really inspired by Seether, well, which is like their biggest Phoebe song. Phoebe is what made me go there. A absolutely 100 percent it's a beautiful yeah. song but I mean, thank you the whole i mean that whole shoegaze um you know sound is uh, yeah i mean yeah i mean you I, all the way back to jesus to mary chain yeah. to you know my bloody valentine catherine wheel i mean yeah. there's so many great yeah. bands in that in that sub genre oh uh, um which i think is one of the things that it, that attracted me to, to you guys wanted to talk to you guys tonight and i'm so glad you guys you know um threw those out there without you know without me um, yeah without you like prying them out of us well yeah i mean it's like you know sometimes it's like oh oh yeah i kind of hear a little bit of this a little of that people are like i have no idea what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of no I, I feel yeah. like we like kind of wear yeah. our influences on our sleeve like 
I don't, I don't really care. I'll talk about my favorite bands all day. <laughs> yeah, those are roots, man. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love, you know, I mean, I'm big into you know, a lot of the er- the early, um, or I should say pre-rock and roll. I, I, it's really rhythm and blues, which is, you know, pre-soul as well. But, like, you know, the whole, you know, um, you know, lead belly and, you know, you know, I've mentioned over, I'll never stop mentioning Bo Diddley, but, um, which even, you know, Bo Diddley had a lot of influence, I think, on the shoegaze scene as, uh, scene as well. You know, with, with that, um, Interesting. that Diddley beat, mm-hmm. you know. I gotta listen to Bo Diddley now. Yeah. I, 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 mean, I, I never heard, that's so interesting. Well, I, I, I just think, you know, you hear that, you know, that Bo Diddley riff. I mean, it just really sets itself up for for that shoegaze, that heavy feedback. I mean, it just all fits in there so well. Yeah. Oh, um, and I mean, cool. and Jesus, well, Jesus and Mary Chain did did a Bo Diddley cover, and that's what got me into Bo Diddley. Nineteen eighty, uh, you know, wh- whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna say. 89, yeah, 88, 89, when I first heard JMC. You need Jared's influences. Yeah. My influences. Oh, yeah, dude. Because Jared's, like, super metal. He's a metalhead. We don't. (laughs) Exactly, yeah. We already spoke a little bit, and I've yet to record on any songs. I'm looking forward to it. Um, But I love everything that Frank Zappa ever did. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do in this band, right? is all the crazy instrumentation. <laughs> yeah, All still trying to make it digestible, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, th- I think there, yeah. you know, there's room for it. I mean, you know, I mean, he's, yeah, I mean, one of those, I mean, shall we say, prog rock masters, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, yeah. you know, he, he was so, he's so out there, which again, lends itself exactly to what you guys are doing yeah and i like a lot of the lot of psychedelic yeah i like a lot of musicians that play for the sheer athleticism of the instrument like i really dig that but at a certain point uh not not as a bad thing but i just started to become more and more uninterested with it and going back to the records that i listened to when i was a kid it's like all of these musicians were having fun right you know when i listen to brian may he sounds like he's having the time of his life he's not super concerned with the recording of Bohemian Rhapsody, like n- none of them really were. They were just really enjoying themselves, like right. on a night at the opera. So that's just kind of what I chase now, and it seems to have a lot of positive results. So I'm sticking with it. Well, I mean, they're they're certainly uh, great artists to aspire to to be, right? I mean, I, I mean, hi, it, it's a high bar, shall we say? The, mm-hmm. So now with with a new third guitarist. Where where do you see the band going in the future? Uh, like mm-hmm. louder, and uh, I think More the feedback. live sound is gonna like uh, help our like the live sound with three guitars is gonna help our recordings translate a little bit better because we stack a lot of guitars on the record. Um, in terms of like new music that. Um, we have now that like Jared is really helping us out on is uh, it's like still got that like noise rock like shoegaze undertone and then uh, simultaneously it has like these new metal vibes and um, uh, right right wait, what? yeah pretend you don't Peter understand. did not like that <laughs> hang on <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, let's face let's face it. I mean, you know, a lot of your songs are are you know, are, cer- are certainly hard. I don't know that I would go that I would say new metal. Yeah, I think definitely on you. the album that we have out now, you wouldn't say that. Um, but a lot of the new stuff that we're playing tonight, like we have this one song called Machine, another one called Automatic. Like they're like in down tuning, drop tunings, and they got some heavier riffs and um more deftones less corn i guess yeah Yeah, yeah, i'll I'll also interject and and say you know for sure not everyone loves new metal (laughs) and that's chilling but uh, what the the first time that i heard and justice for all i loved all the roofs but i was super dissatisfied with the production and it with a lot of new metal bands i don't necessarily love all the instrumentation or, or the music 
but the production is like amazing. Right. And like it sounds super chunky to me. Like it re- it sounds really heavy. Well, like I the will... first time I heard Corn, I was like, oh what? Like what? I, why does this sound so heavy? Like this is why? Like why does? Why does my mom like this song? Yeah. It's so heavy, you know. Well, it, sounds it sounds massive. <laughs> Well, we will. S- we can go ahead and and take a leap here and say that your drummer is certainly much more likable than the drummer on Injustice for All. <laughs> Very true. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna? So, sorry, Lars. Sorry, I don't, Lars. I don't know him personally, but. <laughs> yeah. Want to say anything about your drumming on the new stuff? Um, I'd like to say that uh, a lot of my drumming lately has just been informed by being a music student. Um, and just like constantly practicing, um, mi- like really just playing what needs to be played in the song and not really, you know, doing more than I need to. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, you are pre- pretty minimalist, um, but, but also uh, you also seem a bit, which I like, a bit to- uh, Tom heavy. Yeah, I actually... Honestly, I wouldn't like personally say that, but I I think that's cool. And one thing to one thing to add also is that uh, our record has uh, two songs that the drums were performed by our last drummer Jake. So like, there's definitely a different approach on uh, the tracks Phoebe and Secrets. Right. right. Um, and then and Stone too. like oh and Stone, my bad. So three tracks that Jake played on, and so like half the record is him, and then like. The other half plus one more song, uh, if you want to split it mathematically, um, is an Emmy. So, yeah. But I, I'd say, like, that, that fill and on the inside, I guess, like, that outro, it's like, the title track, has, like, like two different... We, we kind of did, like, Tom overdubs in that right. track. So, like, there's, like, hard panned, like, really big, like, Tom parts. Right. Um, so, th- and, With like, yeah, like, that is pretty much... Yeah, I... Yeah. I always pick out uh, the toms. It's you know, Tom. I love I love Tom heavy drumming. So when I hear it, I you know it it reigns supreme in my mind. So what what drummers w- w- would you say you you either aspire to be or or inspired by? Definitely, I'd say Elon Rubin, um, Nine Inch Nails. He toured with Paramore. Um, just like a lot of awesome stuff. He's also a multi instrumentalist and. Yeah, just like really heavy-handed and like plays like drums made of metal. So right, awesome stuff. So is that is that how you say you you saw that and like I got to play the drums or? Well, honestly, were you already playing drums? I was just point? playing drums. You know, like I feel like I've just like always loved music and uh, I just like started getting drum lessons when I was like like ten and from then on like never stopped. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and it never stopped. That's awesome. I'm, I'm going to let uh, let you guys go here in a second. I know you guys are on stage in about 10 minutes. What? We're playing tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing here? We're doing it right now. Sick. It's all right. We're, all, we're, we're always late. We're, we're not a very tight uh, tight run ship here. Right. Our gear's already up there. Yeah. Uh, um, so <laughs> any, anything that uh, that I'm not asking you that I should be asking you, Any anything that you guys really want you know that that you wish people would ask, or that that you'd like like to talk about. Um, we should ask mm-hmm. if they can give us money more. <laughs> <laughs> we we should ask for ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. No one ever comes up to me. Hey, guys, need some money. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, um, I, mean, I'm I just. Yeah, uh, in in closing, or at least not closing it out completely, but. Um, One thing I want to talk about is just our great scene in South Florida and in Miami in particular. Um, We all grew up playing in like the DIY kind of scene. And, you know, that scene has a ton of great bands that go unrecognized because they sometimes don't make it out of South Florida. And then even in the in the circuit of musicians that are more like jazz heads and professional musicians, the type of people who can show up to a gig when they're filling in for someone and introduce themselves to the rest of the band and just like read their charts and play it perfectly. Even within that scene too, like everybody is really supportive and professional and really cool. And it's like, 
a very tight knit community of people across genres that's awesome so like it's cool to be from miami and to kind of continue that tradition of just you know um florida core yeah <laughs> yeah just being ourselves like no no two bands from miami in any genre i don't think there's very many that sound like each other right there's a lot of people who are friends and ins are inspired by each other but are all doing their own thing so it's been it's really cool to be part of that world uh, yeah, I mean, I'll even, you know, go further. I mean, the entire, I mean, you know, Florida scene. I mean, I've, I've been in this scene 34 years now, and I always come across bands that, I, I can't tell you how many bands, like, this band's going to make it. I mean, there's so many great bands, and, you know, it, it's unfortunate, like you say, not many of them, you know, make make it out, make it out of the scene, or you know, you get a couple, a couple good tours. But there's so many bands that I think need more recognition, and um, I'm, I'm thrilled to have been able to see to see some some of them, uh, and I'm really really looking forward to seeing you guys tonight. Um, you know, you you guys are, I I think one of the more exciting bands in the South Florida scene right now, and. Um, you know, you know, bring on the shoegaze, man. It's you know, I I love it. It's um, not a lot of bands, you know, still doing that, you know, or trying to bring back shoegaze. So I think it kind of yeah. went away for a while. But I will say this: unless your shoegaze is from the UK in the late <laughs> '80s or early '90s, it's not shoegaze. It's just sparkling dream pop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and if it's tracked to a click, it's not shoegaze. And that's not even a hot take. That, yeah, and if you're not looking at your is. shoes, do I even have to say it? Yeah, <laughs> it's true. You really have to be arena here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we've, we've got the gatekeepers. <laughs> no, like it's funny because like, we, we'll say shoegaze like, definitely informs our sound. I know we're wrapping it up, but it's, it's not even real shoegaze. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the mic, Carly. Drop the mic. <laughs> Put the no, uh, I mean, listen. I don't. Tr I don't try to pigeonhole anybody. Put any. Put any labels on 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 anybody. <laughs> at, at the end of the day, it's to me. It's all. It's all punk rock. At the end of the day, I don't. You know. I mean, whether whether you're shoegaze, whether you're EDM, you know, it, it's still all punk rock. Subgenre, subgenre, subgenre. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, I feel the same way. Yeah, and you know, if we want to go even further, it's still just music. Right. Um, but punk rock music's better than all other music. <laughs> well said. Shout yeah. out music. It, Tied with hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also probably it, the best attitude. But, I, and I will say, new metal is not punk rock. It's metal, and it's not part of the better than everything else music. <laughs> nor is it good. <laughs> nor, nor, nor is it good. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll see you on stage, hopefully in about five or six minutes. Awesome. Thank you, man. Awesome. Much love. Thank Thanks, you. Ryan. Appreciate Peace it. Peace and love. No more fun.